In the last video, we considered the window glass problem and we came up with a mathematical optimization model to represent it. You can see it on my screen. The, uh, the model that we came up with has two decision variables, x and y, has an objective of 300x plus 500y, which needs to be maximized, and there are these constraints, three of them given by the hours available in the plants, and two ne non-negativity constraints. Now I'm going to show you how to implement this model in Excel and how to use Excel Solver to find the answer to this problem. So if you see here, I've opened a template that I've created for this problem. The template doesn't have any formulas or any number in it. All it has is uh, some color coding that I've created to help us out. And the color coding is the following. I have assigned all cells which are going to have data the color blue. And there are three kinds of data, remember. There's profit per unit sold, or produced in this case. There is a uh, number of hours there each door or window require in each plant, and number of hours available in each plant. So this is all data, all in blue. The second color that I'm using is yellow for decision variables, which are these two how many doors to produce and how many windows to produce. And the last piece of data is total profit, which is our objective. And that one, that one I'm color coding in orange. So we have three colors to represent these three pieces of information. And we have here some hints that these are going to be constraints over here. So how do I, how do I represent this problem? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the data into the spreadsheet. So the profit per door is 300, the profit per window is 500. The number of hours that doors need in plant 1 is 1. The number of hours that windows need in plant 1 is 0. The number of hours the door need in plant 2 is 0. The number of hours the windows need in plant 2 is 2. The number of hours the doors need in plant 3 is 3. And the number of hours the windows need in plan 3 is 2. And if you see these numbers are the same numbers as here. And I'm just using a 0 whenever an extra window doesn't show up in that constraint. And how many hours I have available? I have 4 hours in the first plant, 12 hours in the second, and 18 hours in the third. Um, I don't know what numbers to put here for the decision variables. These are the numbers that Solver is going to have to pick. I'm going to put some numbers here just so I can test the formulas, make sure they're working. So let's guess some production. Let's say a uh, window is going to produce one door and one window. And again, Solver is going to change these numbers. But if, if window pr produces one door and one window, what is the profit that window will get? Window will get the number of doors times 300 plus the number of windows times 500. So it would get a profit of $800, $800. So this is the right formula. Another way to represent the same formula that's going to be easier when we have more numbers is using the formula sum product. The formula sum product is going to multiply all the numbers in this line with all the numbers in this line. So when I put in this formula, it's going to multiply this number here with this number here, and this number over here with this number over here. So it's going to give me the same formula, 800. And over here, I'm going to put in this, uh, calculate how many hours am I using if this was the actual solution I would come up with. If Solver would pick these numbers, how many hours would I use? It's the sum product of the number of hours that, uh, that each door and window needs in this plant by the number of doors and windows that I'm producing total. So if you see here, the formula is correct. I, I'm using one hour with this particular solution. Now I'm going to put here for plant two the same thing, the same sum product which is going to represent how many, how many hours I'm using 
implant two with the solution and you see again it makes sense that with one door and one window I'm using two hours in plan two and finally the same formula for plan three and it should show that with this particular solution I'm using five hours in plan three and I get that number so I have the beginnings of my model here but these constraints that I've written here these are just for decoration these are just to help us see the that these are going to be the constraints we're going to want but Solver does not, Excel doesn't understand these constraints. What we're going to use is a, is a tool called Solver where we're going to input these constraints and this objective and all this information and tell Excel to solve this problem. Um, the, depending on the, Solver is an add-in that comes with all versions of Excel except Excel for Mac 2008, but all versions of Excel for PC and the most recent version of Excel for Mac, they all have Solver. So uh, if you have an old version of Excel for Mac, you're going to have to download a separate Solver to run. You can download it from Frontline Systems website. And But even if your Excel has Solver, which most of your Excel should have Solver, uh, you're going to need to tell them to display Solver often Solver is hidden somewhere. Different versions of Excel, they're hidden in different places. So I'm going to ask you to Google for your particular version of Excel how to find Solver and how to make it visible. But it's an add-in that comes automatically with Excel. For my version of Excel for Mac, you control it here via add-ins. So I've already installed Solver in mine, so I just have to click here, Solver. Solver asks me for first and foremost what is my objective and I'm going to say my objective is my total profit it's my cell here in orange what am I trying to maximize or minimize I'm trying to maximize this value what are the things that Solver is allowed to change these are the decision variables the cells in yellow and the last thing I need to tell Solver are what are the constraints the constraints are these here. I need that the number of hours used in each plant is less than or equal to the number of hours available in each plant. Now I'm going to click OK. And when I clicked here, I'm telling Solver that I'm telling Solver that the, all of these decision variables they're not negative. They're both uh, zero or positive numbers. Here I can click, I can pick the algorithm I want Solver to use. I'm going to pick Simplex LP, which is the which is the algorithm for solving linear problems. I'm going to talk more about this in class when you guys are in New York. So for now, that's it. We have the model ready. All I need to do is click Solve to find a solution. So Solver responded to me an answer. If Solver found a solution, all constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied. So I'm going to click here, and this is the optimal solution. Window Glass's op answer is that it should produce both products, and in particular, it should produce two doors per week and six windows per week. And the total profit, if it does that, is 3,600. Okay, that's it.